Dear Lutheran Refugee Services, I am writing to ask that you send our community under care of our parish, First Lutheran Church, one Cambodian refugee family, please. I, Hanka Notsarova Calcaterra, have been named head of the assimilation committee here in Fargo, and I will personally see to their levels of contentment and degustation. I can assure you from my own experience as a refugee that relocated life in Fargo is extremely, 100%, very excellent. Get caught, Mama! Keep jumping. Since escaping brutalities of totalitarian regime in Czechoslovakia, Fargo has provided me new home of both perfection and splendor. Every day I wake up with exuberance for this place I live in. And dress my beautiful children for school. In the summer it takes five minutes. Okay. Though short, Autumn in Fargo is glorious. And while my children receive beneficial American education, okay. I am able to attend church meetings where I calmly volunteer my time. Refugee Assimilation Committee. In school, my children learn mostly about Norway, as this is ancestry of most in Fargo. Fascinating. Still, when in our domicile, I like to read them books from my culture. What's that? Um, the doggy's pants flew away because of the um, faintly crying doll. Stracek Nimra. When people think of North Dakota, they think cold, and I will not fib. It can be. But you must remember, there is also summer. Oh, my God! My husband, Remo, is Sicilian, and thus my children have very much pigment in their hair and skin. Those of Norwegian descent do not. Are you a Negro? Still, the fine people of Fargo are impervious to our differences. Are you a Negro? So as you can see, Lutheran refugee services, this land of Fargo is most hospitable environment in which to host those displaced from their homeland due to political unrest. Still, if I am speaking truths, I will admit that sometimes I feel very different from most everyone in this Fargo. Sometimes I feel different from even my own children. Sometimes I think about the fact that their whole lives they will think and speak in language that is not my own language of which I have not yet mastered. Sometimes I can feel stranger even from myself. It is these times that I start to dream about some kind of big plastic operation that would make me look again like a beautiful teenager. that then perhaps Remo would look at me. It goes so long sometimes him not looking at me in my eyes. Not like our younger selves. Intertwining fingers through diamonds of metal fence. On one side his family's farm, on the other the Italian refugee camp where I waited and waited.
for America. Sundays my thoughts turn most to melancholy. Thoughts of my home, of Prague, of my father, Yaroslav. He was brilliant professor, but forced to work as janitor for nine years. Then they put him in prison for writing essay. He died in jail from sickness, of which we still do not know the name. And now I watch on television that the Cambodians are having these same problems with totalitarian regime, but worse. There, they were killing people simply for wearing glasses. Just as in climate of my homeland, they are scared of anyone with education, anyone who questions. If granted the family, Luther and refugee services, I will do everything I can to help with their timely assimilation to life here in Fargo. This, I believe, I will be prime at. I will warn them that from November to March, should they breathe in sharply, their nostrils will freeze together momentarily and that this is not cause for alarm. Same with eyelids. I will tell them of the cuisine, hot dish, which is mostly inedible, but is gifted often and with great enthusiasm. Same with bundt cakes of jello. I will tell them that the people of Fargo are good and kind, and that they have furnished me with bounty I can never repay. I will show these Cambodians all the things there were once kind souls to show me, and the things that sometimes there were not like which soap not to put in dishwasher. But there's one thing that I wish most passionately to share with these Cambodian humans. Oh They're coming! <laughs> it is what I love the most about Fargo, North Dakota, land of dreams, and really not a terribly difficult place to inhabit at all. I'm being 100% full of truth when I state this. Because in this place of Fargo, North Dakota, in the United States of America, land is so flat for so long that sky is bigger here than anywhere else in the world. It is big, big sky. Just like ocean, it is too big to comprehend. And inside, I think, we human beings inside, we are all too big to comprehend, too. We are all part of this same bigness. You have only to look into another's eyes to know it. For if you look and keep looking, you realize there is no difference between places. There is no difference between people. And looking into another's eyes in the end is no different than looking into the sky. It's all like the big, big sky.
zmlácenýho kostela v krábici s kusem mídla. Přinesl jsem si anděla, volámali mu křídla. Díval se na mě oddaně, já měl jsem trochu trému. Tak vtiskl jsem mu do dlaně lahvičku od parfému. A proto prosím, věř mi, chtěl jsem ho žádat. 